Things You Didn't Know You Could Make with Canva, part 14. If you want a quick way to create your social media posts, then you are going to love this Canva tip. Go to the homepage and select Canva Sheets. Once the sheet opens, you'll want to add some information into the header rows. Then you're going to start to add some information into each of the cells. Once you have a couple of them filled out, highlight the very top cell and then click and drag so that you can select additional cells. Then go up to Actions, and there's this option here that says Fill Empty Cells. Canva is going to fill these for you with content that is similar to what you've already created. If you like what it has, then you're just going to click Insert, and there are the suggestions that Canva has placed into those cells. Next, you'll need to add some photos. You're going to click and drag the photo until it pops itself into the cell. When you're finished adding all of your photos, it's time to add a social media template. So click here at the bottom where it says add page type and select the type of template you would like to use. You can also use one of your own if you already have it laid out. So I have one already in my projects folder. I'm just going to use this one right here and I'm going to just drag and drop it right on top of this page and it will add it to the design page. Click and highlight all of the cells that you created, including the header row, and then go up to where it says Actions and go to Bulk Create. Click on Bulk Create, and it's going to tell us these are the cells that we're going to use. And now we need to click where it says Continue. It's going to ask us to choose a template. We already have one right here. We're just going to select where it says currently open. So over here, we're going to connect the recipe name as well as the photo. I'm going to go over here to the name of the recipe. This is just the placeholder. And when I click on it, you'll see it says connect data. So click on connect data and I'm going to select the recipe name. And then I'm going to click on the photo placeholder image. So here is my photo and I'm going to go over here and I want to make sure I connect data and select the photo. Click where it says Advanced Options. Click where it says One Design with Multiple Images. Then you're going to click where it says Create Design. You'll see right here Canva now created that design and plugged the information into these cells. If you click on any one of them, it's going to give you the link to that brand new design file. And when we open it, here are all of those pages in one design file with a different name for each one and a different photo for each one. This makes creating content so much faster because now you can just do it all in bulk in a few seconds. If you want more Canva tips like this, make sure you hit that follow button. Things you didn't know you could make with Canva, part 14.